Kids are going back to school, yay! But are you feeling guilty for feeling so happy about the kids returning to the classroom? Well, back to share some advice is Dr. Daryl Appleton. Good morning and welcome back to The Road Show. Happy back to school. Happy back to school. Now, this is something I have heard many of my friends who are parents talking about. I think a lot of parents look forward to the kids going back to school, which sounds pretty normal to me, but many might be dealing with feeling guilty guilty about feeling happy about that? It, should parents feel guilty? What is, how does it work? It's an interesting dichotomy that we see because you want your kids around and our society does this thing where you should want to be with your kids. But after three long months, it is absolutely normal to want to have a little bit of you time or to return to normal with the school system. So it is very interesting that a lot of parents tend to have these feelings and they feel bad about feeling good about back to school. Yeah, so if they are feeling guilty, what can they do to kind of check themselves? I think it's important that they talk about it, either through a journal exercise or with other parents, but being able to be vulnerable about that feeling and saying it out loud allows us to process it and hopefully have some other voices come in and, and have that check happen externally, as well as fostering the ability to have it internally as well. And I would imagine part of you know why people like this return to school so much isn't necessarily about the fact that you're not with your children, but I think many people, if not most, thrive on routine so I think it's kind of that reassurance of knowing that you know now we're gonna have our plans in place and we're not gonna wake up every morning and wonder what are we gonna do today and you know who's taking care of the kids and not knowing what's going on that that normalcy is probably pretty reassuring to a lot of people absolutely there is a summer fatigue mm -hmm. of having to have it be fun all the time and do something exciting and entertain your kids whether they're teens or college or babies so I think this routine return to routine is a really important thing as well that we can settle back in as fall comes Comes in winter, we can really get back into the things of our normalcy and be able to provide a little bit more structure for our family. And speaking to that summer fatigue, kind of on the other end of the spectrum, people might be feeling guilty that they didn't get to everything that they had, you know, put on their summer bucket list, or you know, we wanted to go on vacation here, or we wanted to head to that water park. How can parents help themselves and their children, if they feel that way as well, feel better about maybe not getting to every last little thing on the list? And that's a big one. I think a lot of people don't even realize they feel that mm -hmm. way, but it comes up in conversation or it comes up in these feelings that they have. So I say to a lot of my clients, you can do anything, but you cannot do everything. It's an unrealistic expectation that you're going to get to everything on that list. So be a little bit kinder to yourself. Embrace the things that you did do. Speak to your kids about all the experience you did have this year, your partner even, or if you're a single parent, your friends. Really celebrate the fact that you went out and you did these really great things. It's okay that you didn't get to all of them. And I'm sure that it's more about memories than specific places you went or the, you know specific things you did or you know dinners you ate because I th you know from my own childhood I think back to summers and I just kind of remember the summer and the feeling not necessarily the specific you know trips we took to places exactly we remember things mostly through pictures and even then our memories are faulty around that but that feeling piece that core memory of the smell of the grass or being outside or what the ocean is like is something that's way more important than it was perfect it was Pinterest perfect it was curious so I think that's a really important thing too. Your kids won't remember all the details. They'll remember you and they'll remember the experience that you guys had together globally. And then lastly, there might be parents who are either going to be empty nesters or sending little ones away for the first time or just really did enjoy their summer with their children or kind of feeling that void a little bit. How can those parents feel a little bit better about the situation? This is a great time to transition yourself. Look into the things that you need and maybe it's a little bit better of a time for you to embrace a hobby or to expand your business or to expand your personal development of sorts so this is a time that you can also go back to school as well so to speak and be a better parent for your kid because when we're better people we are better parents all around that's a great tip and I always love this time of year because I like that feeling of like getting back to routine and back to school so maybe anyone you know regardless of having children or not can kind of look at this as a time to do that take up a new hobby or kind of get back into something that they fell out of Oh, absolutely. This is
is the time to do it. If you are looking for a reason to do it, I'm telling you right now, go do it. This is a great time to start something new. That's it. Dr. Daryl said it. This is your sign. Your sign <laughs> is here. Great advice as always. Thank you so much. And we will post a link to her website if you'd like to check out more about Dr. Daryl at roadshow.com.